guys. Today I am doing coffee candles. Uh, the only difference between these candles that I haven't done before is I am going to be using candle dye. And I've actually never made a video using candle dye. So I'm going to show you how you can take wax and make it the color that you want to. I'm using brown today for the coffee candles. So the wax that I'm gonna be using today is a combination of about five or six different waxes. I've been collecting these over the past year. Uh, a lot of them is from Bath and Body Works. There's a couple from Yankee Candle. I have an espresso bean wax. I have a caramel latte wax. I have campsite coffee which is from Bath and Body Works. Um, I have a caramel cold brew, uh, a cinnamon latte. So these are all gonna get melted down together and it's gonna have top notes of cinnamon and caramel. It's gonna be a really nice smelling coffee scented wax. But what I'm gonna do is once these are all melted down, I am going to use my coffee beans candle oil if you are looking for something for your own coffee candles. It's Nature's Oil. Very, very nice smelling coffee scent and it is one that I would recommend. I found this one on Amazon. Great, great coffee scent. So when you're trying to use candle dyes, usually I would say not to heat your candle wax to a very high temperature, but these little uh these little candle dye flakes they do not melt the way that a regular candle melts you actually have to use very high heat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this to just a small amount of wax that i'm going to heat at a very high temperature i'm going to let this dissolve completely until it's very dark brown and then i'm going to add the rest of my wax and we're going to come up with a nice brown coffee color and then add the coffee bean oil. Now that the brown is completely dissolved, we're going to add our random coffee scented waxes. I reduce the heat and I'm going to let these simmer until they're all completely melted down. It smells like a cinnamon coffee shop in here really nice. You get hints of vanilla and caramel. I can't wait to add the coffee bean oil. That's when the magic happens. Like 
Starbucks yeah. in here. is completely melted down and it is ready for our coffee bean oil so a good trick when you're using candle oils it's about it's about an ounce of oil per pound of wax and this is a two ounce bottle so I'm going to use half of this bottle to scent our coffee candles something a little bit different, special, more like a holiday scent. I'm gonna take my coffee wax and pour it over my mint chocolate wax, which is, <laughs> this is actually a wax that I made. It's half Bath and Body Works mint chocolate and then I use candle oils and um, Yankee Candle chocolate mint so it's a combination of about three different waxes plus a chocolate mint candle oil. So I'm gonna chunk this, I'm gonna put it in these containers and then I'm gonna pour the coffee bean wax over it. So it's going to be a mint chocolate latte candle. Great for the holidays and I think people will really like it and it smells absolutely amazing. actually came with these cute little boxes and um, so I thought you know what let's put a little cocoa packet 
and some mini marshmallows in each box. It'd be, you know, a cute little extra gift. But I wanted to make them cute, so these I actually put in a little holographic bag. And the cocoa packet. Just gonna make it real cute. Anytime you add holographic cellophane to anything, it just triples its cuteness. So I'm going to put the cocoa packet in. the little holographic marshmallows right on top. And then the person who gets the coffee candles will have just an extra surprise inside. touch on these coffee candles because I warmed them underneath the broiler the very very top layer of the candle since it's been heated and flattened it won't smell as strong as the rest of the candle so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my coffee bean oil it's right there take a very soft very soft bristle brush and I'm going to, this is just a makeup brush that's never been used for makeup. I'm going to put the coffee oil on the brush and then I'm going to just gently, I'm going to gently touch the very top of the candle just to give it a really nice scent so that whoever opens the candle, it'll be the first thing they smell. And it just gives it an extra kick of that nice coffee scent. finished product. It smells absolutely amazing in here. If you love coffee candles and you would love to own one of these coffee candles, contact the Smith Island Bakery and they will be there. Their number is on the screen. You can also contact them through Messenger, Facebook, it's Smith Island Bakery. Be sure to like their page and join me for my next candle video 
in which I will be making lemon drop candles. So, because I found some really cute jars and one really adorable thing to make the lemon drops absolutely adorable. Love you guys.